like such a douchebag when my hair is not done. It's fucking ridiculous. Oh, hey, what's up? Um, welcome back to another Warhammer Wednesday. Uh, it's me, the Mick. Um, and I guess today we're just going to be going over the Chaos Space Marine Legions and their Primarchs. I'm not going to be giving too many facts about them. I do know a lot more about some than I do others. Um, and honestly, this is just going to be mostly jokes. I'm going to be poorly explaining a lot of lore to you guys. But if you want to hear more specific lore or me to actually cover what they do or what they're about or how they go about certain things, then go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section and subscribe so that you can be the first to know that the new video came out. But after all that, I'm sure what you're really wondering is, who are the Chaos Space Marine Legions and who are their Primarchs? Well... We're waiting. I'll tell ya. So if you know anything about Warhammer 40k, first thing you know is the Horus Heresy. And that is when a whole bunch of Space Marine Legions said fuck you to Big Daddy E for being a dick, even though he totally was a dick, and decided to split off and now follow the Chaos Gods. So the main one, obviously, is going to be Horus. Uh, he was Dad's favorite. Um, you're gonna see a lot of Christianity links here. So, he fell, but before he fell to Chaos, he was actually the leader of the Lunar Wolves Space Marine Legion. But then he thought that that needed a rebranding to the Sons of Horus, because now there's a new Big Daddy in town, and he needs everyone to know it. After Horus got his shit kicked in, by his father, though, even though he did give Big E a solid thrashing to now he has to sit on a very special chair and eat the souls of little psychers like they're the snack that smiles back, his first captain then took over his legion and then rebranded that legion again into the Black Legion. Uh, the reason he took over this is because he was the first captain, and also he had the sickest hairdo of any of the Space Marines, I guess was the reason that they put him in charge. I don't know. Um, and then you also have Angron. Uh, he's honestly one of my favorite Space Marines, uh, Primarchs, just because he's just too angry to die. He's got a super tragic backstory. He grew up as a slave in gladiatorial pits, basically abandoned by his father, or so he thought. He totally fucking was. Um, but then now in the current lore, before he got sent back to the warp, uh, he just evolved. So now nobody has enough badges to train him except the badass bitch who runs his ship. She's a fucking awesome character too. The next, uh, one that we're going to talk about is Lorgar Aurelian. Uh, and he is the word bearer, uh, Primarch. Now he was actually technically the first to fall to chaos, but he wasn't the favorite, uh, so he was actually the first one who got corrupted by Chaos, and then Chaos was like, nah, you a bitch, and then swept him to the side so that they could use him to get to Horus, uh, because what better way to stick it to the man than pick the man's favorite son to corrupt first. Um, next, we have Perturabo, or the Lord of Iron, and he is the Primarch of the Iron Warriors. Now, when he was still a Primarch serving the Emperor like the goodest little boy, he would constantly complain that his dad was always sending him on the most dangerous shit to the most backwater planets to do the most heavy lifting. And when people were like, hey, have you ever tried, like, talking to your dad like an adult? He was like, no, because he's a child and a petulant one at that. So, of course, he fell because he thought he was getting the short end of the stick every single time. Uh, and then you have Magnus the Red. Now, Magnus was the leader of the Thousand Sons, or is. I'm sorry. And he is the embodiment of snitches get stitches, except generally you don't get stitches from the person you're snitching to. He was told by his padre not to contact him in any psychic means because Big Daddy E was working on a very special project. However, Magnus found out that big old boy Horus over here was starting a rebellion and was like, hey, dad, you kind of need to know this. To which the emperor was like, off. and basically just ripped him a new asshole. So, of course, he became a 
Chaos Space Marine or Space Marine Legion leader and decided to go against his dad cuz of course he did. The next one you have is Alpharius and Omegon, which if you are a plebeian, Alpha and Omega. And if you can't guess what their legion's called, it's the Alpha Legion. These guys are actually just genuinely cool. I don't have any jokes about this, except that their entire legion is basically, I am Spartacus, I am Spartacus, I am Spartacus. Because Alpharius and Omegon are the only two dual leaders of a Space Marine Legion, or so we think. All they are is deception and deceit and basically making you second guess every single thing that they tell you, your mother has told you, your teachers have told you, which by the way, you should always question authority. However, there's stories where during the time that Horus found Alpharius, he turned Alpharius, but then there's also stories that Alpharius also was met by the Emperor at the same exact time. And also, all their Space Marines pretty much look almost exactly like each other. Alpharius and Omegon are actually the shortest of all of the Space Marine Primarchs because that fits into their deceit. One of their Space Marines can actually put on their power armor and passes them, and if anybody knows what their face looks like, they're going to look at this other Space Marine and be like, yeah, that's probably Alpharius, the Primarch of this Space Marine Legion. So that's their whole deal. I am Spartacus. I just wanted to throw that one in there. Then you have Conrad Kurz. He has the most stereotypical rogue background in the world. You can almost not get more edgelord than Conrad Kurz. He landed on a desolate planet. He took shelter in dilapidated buildings, and anyone who dared tried to prey on him. He stabbed him. That's his whole thing. He literally has jet black eyes, long black hair, a gaunt, pale white face. Like, he is the epitome of what every edgelord would hope to look like and what every edgelord makes all of their rogue characters look like whenever they're granted permission to finally be at the D&D table that they're going to be kicked out of in two sessions because they're fucking insufferable. That's Conrad Kurz. Next and last one is Fulgrim. Fulgrim would fit perfectly in the Catholic Church. That's all I'm going to say. He is the leader of the Emperor's children. Because he has a fawn for children. Hide your kids and hide your wife. I mean it. Fulgrim is terrible. But anyway, that is all ten. Technically nine, technically eleven. Chaos Space Marine Primarchs and their legions. If you'd like to know any more information about any of the Primarchs or their legions, please leave that, like I said, in the comment section below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Dislike this video if you didn't like it. But let me know down in the comment section below why you didn't like it and what ways I can improve besides fixing this douchey haircut. Thank you all so much again for watching. I really appreciate everyone that comes out and watches. Please go ahead and check the stream. The link to the Twitch will be down below. I'll catch you all in the next one.